best wishes to all today we are going to see operational amplifier operational amplifier is simply called as op amp in this video we are going to see what is operational amplifier what is amplifier what is difference between amplifier and operational amplifiers pin diagram of operational amplifiers and symbol of operational amplifiers so in this video we are going to see one by one next so first of all introduction of operational amplifiers the operational amplifier most commonly referred as op amp op amp op amp was introduced in 1940s so the first operational amplifier was designed in 1948 using vacuum tube in those days it was used in the analog computer to perform a variety of mathematical operations such as addition subtraction multiplication and etc due to his use in performing mathematical operation it has been given a name operational amplifiers so what, what the operational amplifier name implies due to his use in performing mathematical operation it has been given a name operational amplifiers due to the use of vacuum tubes the early op amps were bulky power consuming and expensive so the designer robert j bidler the famous designer brought up the popular 741 integrated circuit op amp so these op amp are built using bjt and fed bjt is nothing but bipolar junction transistor fed is nothing but field programmable transistor with the help of ic op amp the circuit design becomes very simple so it is one of the advantage so the variety of useful circuit can be built without the necessity of knowing about the complex internal circuitry so what is the advantage of ic based op amp low cost small size versatility flexibility and reliability or dependent ability okay so the op amp is basically a excellent high gain differential amplifier so in this side i just summarize what i said so far okay so what i said operational amplifier is also called as op amp so op amp so next year of design year of design 1940s need of design mathematical calculation mathematical calculation is nothing but addition subtraction division multiplication integration differentiation etc so it is used to perform the mathematical calculation who is designer robert j bidler so the what is the ic name ic name is ic ic is a integrated circuit 741 it's a pin number so manufacturing details so manufacturing details vacuum tubes so in early days using vacuum tubes what is the disadvantage of uh, conventional method so high design complexity so the advantages is in recent times the designers are used to design uh, design operational amplifier using bjt and fed bjt is bipolar junction transistor fed is field effect transistor by using bjt and fed what is the advantage low cost small size versatility flexibility and dependent ability so what is low cost so the low cost means the area requirement the components need of design the cost of materials are low so the outcome outcome of the one of the advantage is low cost small size is the compact version what is mean by versatility so the versatility is defined by ability to be adapted to many different functions let me repeat ability to adapted to many different function it is called as versatility so what is flexibility the flex flexibility is nothing but the ability to be easily modified ability to be easily modified so these are the explanations of the word the particular word okay dependent ability dependent ability is nothing but reliability okay let me repeat versatility is nothing but ability to be adapted to many different functions function flexibility is nothing but the ability to be easily modified dependent ability is nothing but reliability okay next one 
the definitions definitions of operational amplifier so what is the uh, definition so it is a integrated circuit that amplifies the difference in voltage between two inputs okay it has two input and one output component okay so differential the operational amplifier so what is amplifier first so the amplifier is nothing but it is used to amplifying the signal so it, it what is the difference between op amplifier and operational amplifier so the amplifier can be either electronic or mechanical okay so the operational use amplifier only designed for electronic amplifiers okay so the amplifier have a limited capability of amplifying the dc signal dc is nothing but direct current okay so all operational amplifiers are capable of amplifying the dc signal these are the basic difference between amplifier and operational amplifier so the operational amplifier it could be configured specially for mathematical operations so that is nothing but addition subtraction multiplication division integration differentiation etc so next we are going to see pin diagram of operational amplifier so this is the pin diagram so it is 8 pin ic so 8 pin 2 it already i said two input one output the second and third pin are input terminal six is output terminal so without supply voltage no component nothing no one is perform well so the supply voltage is 4 and 7 so 4 is a negative supply voltage 7 is a positive supply voltage first and fifth pins are offset null so eighth nc is denoted as no connections so let me repeat all the operational amplifier have at least the following five terminals the positive supply voltage terminal it is called as vcc or plus v the negative supply voltage terminal minus vee or minus v the output terminal the inverting input terminal marked as negative the non inverting input terminal marked as positive okay so what is meant by inverting and non inverting so the basic uh, difference in inverting and non inverting is the input at inverting terminal result in opposite polarity anti phase output so what is phase phase is nothing but position of the signal so inverting terminal means the input at inverting the input terminal results in opposite polarity that means anti phase output okay while the input at non inverting input terminal result in the same polarity same phase the phase is nothing but zero or 180 degree if the input if the input is given into input terminal so the sine wave is inverting into the zero phase to 180 phase non inverting is nothing but no changes in input and output in terms of phase okay next the package so how it is available in market okay so the three packages are available in operational amplifier first one metal con package second one dual inline package third one the flat top package the diagrams are denoted as the three type different kinds of package so this is the outcome of the product okay next one symbol representation symbol so it is already i said it is 8 pin ic two input terminal one output terminal so the two is inverting input three is non inverting input the inverting input is represented as, as minus the non inverting input represented as positive four and seven are supply voltage supply voltage for seven is a positive sup supply uh, seven is a positive supply four is a negative supply the output is taken from sixth pin terminal okay students today we are going to we so far we discussed about what is operational amplifier what is the difference between amplifier and operational amplifier pin diagrams and a symbol let me repeat quickly today we are going to see um, operational amplifiers operational amplifiers are mostly referred as op amp it is introduced in 1940s so designed by robert so what is in early days it is manufactured by vacuum tubes after that it is used to design bjt and fed so the advantages of uh, recent uh, bjt and fed based uh, ic is low cost small size versatility 
flexibility and dependent ability okay so the pin diagrams and uh, symbols uh, symbols are 8 pin ic so two input terminal one output terminal 2 and 3 is input terminal 6 is output terminal 7 and 4 are supply voltage so the use of operation amplifiers are we are going to see in upcoming video thank you so much have a nice day